Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome pirates and sailormen all around Commodores! I even might like Commodores even if I'm a pirate Jack Sparrow really liked the Commodore because he made him laugh so much I am the Sparrow Jenny playing with John Patrick Mason and we're gonna go for day 12 into the escapists on the Iron Gate prison layout now with that all out of the way my plan on this episode specifically I know I always tell this and I never complete it but what I want to do on this episode is to try and find a lot of lengths of rope to make the makeshift raft I want to try and find crowbars and again lengths of rope for the grappling hook those are my two main priorities no longer the key not really expecting to get a key I already have the god outfit and I guess that is useful when I'm outside in the rooftop and I guess in the end that is my big priority my second priority would be getting my intellect up so let's do that by browsing the internet I guess I'm gonna save the money for the items I really need right now because they are really expensive we're talking about links of rope which costs freaking sixty dollars I have not been doing something that probably a lot of people do which is increasing their opinion about you so that stuff doesn't cost as much but to be quite honest with you I can just have all the money I want as long as I keep my job up I don't want to risk it so I think I'm gonna buy it already I think it's a bad idea waiting for the next period because after the breakfast they usually refresh the items or they even stop selling stuff so I'm gonna risk a little bit and I'm gonna spend $60 on an item I'm gonna have a lot of troubles getting out of here we're talking about getting out of two metal detectors not one but two no pelelemin can you help me man some people use this tactic they put illegal items on their bodies then they put them on the metal detector they will not get busted obviously because they are NPCs that always happens to us never to the NPCs and then you can pick up the item on his body from the other side of the metal detector but I've tried to do that before and you cannot do it because of the door you cannot go through the door with someone on your shoulders okay this is the hard part let's try and do it can we ouch I'm done <laughs> no okay I need this length of rope I need this length of rope Please, 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 no, 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 <laughs> That's sixty dollars gone, man. Hey, for all the lucky times I had getting into my cell with illegal stuff, I can go with just that. I am already over it. See, ten seconds after losing a length of, length of rope, and that means sixty dollars. I'm already over it. I am already over it. It's no problem. No problem at all. I'm making my license license plates and try to forget that I lost $60 <laughs> on a length of roll. But no baddie, no baddie, because after this job quota, I should have almost all those $60 back. Even though you lost the chance of having one length of rope, which doesn't happen that often on a seller, on a vendor. There we go. Almost all my money back. But it was a length of rope and you can't find that very often balls of wood no longer need that don't need a screwdriver you know what let's check these guys cells I guess that would be a good idea or I could go with a crowbar as well if you have one let's see nope nothing not a length of rope like the one I lost yes I'm still trying to get over it guys just give me a moment this is my ego part of me I'm trying to get over it being not very proud of my actions I see flipsy still the same stuff so what I should probably focus on right now is having my intellect up so let's do that I did not want to enter that cell that was stupid I want to get at least something like 90 intellect because that covers all the items that I need to craft so let's go for that let's actually check also who's gonna have a cell toss that could be a good idea I would say cat meister still not what I need so let's see get in line morons the cretins about to get their cell search are derb cookie and Stephanie 
Stephanie. <laughs> and I'm not getting my physical stats up again. It's not like I have a challenge. I don't. I just don't find a need for it. Not that badly. Specifically on this prison where you're brought down with an item that you cannot resist. Even if you have like 50 health. Let's see. This guy's selling stuff. Catmeister. Still the same stuff. Not good. Someone was stays. I want to know who that is. And if it has a link of rope! No, it doesn't. But it has a crafting note, which should be useful to make someone my friend. Let's see. There's so many guards, man! Are you doing a choo-choo of guards? Is that the thing? What? Did it? Did they see me stealing? Is that it? I don't have anything! I don't have anything! What did you see? What did, what did you see? Oh my god, it was the camera! The camera saw me stealing. Damn bastards watching through the camera. I wonder where they are. Is it possible to go to a staff room where you actually find guards looking at screens? Carefully, you know, doing the routine of watching the cameras? That would be kind of cool. Exercise period? No, I need to shower first, guys. I usually do that, I'm sorry. I shower first and exercise after. Because the exercise machines don't hang on to my smell. They melt. I go there without showering. Okay, I need to bring my fatigue down. My intellect is at 92. That should be enough to make the makeshift raft and the grappling hook and the sail. That's what I'm gonna focus tonight. I'm gonna make at least a sail. I have items for that. Not for the other ones, though. I'm gonna get some food that further brings down the fatigue. And it's one of the best ways to do so, if you ask me. We're all buddies here. We're all criminals. And we should help each other out. We should help the brother from another mother. I haven't found any brothers on this prison layout yet. I guess we don't really relate. We should probably need a DNA test before finding our brother. Ugh. Shower block. Let's get that, that done with. Let's at least go there. Go there with our feet. Leave our perfume and get the hell away from here. Let's still check if they are... You know, I cannot miss any length of rope or any crowbar that they are selling. I cannot do that mistake. I know I made the mistake of losing it after buying it. You know what? I, 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 could, I could go for this. I could go for this and have... have an advice from the lawyer. But you know what? Not yet. Not yet. I will do it once I'm safe with money. Right now, I would say I'm not. Let's check these guys' cells until they call us for the roll call. Ah, uh, shoot. I lost one of the toothpaste. See, I'm under the camera, and it still saw me. It's not possible to do that, guys. We're too tall. We cannot do that. We can sneak in rapidly and break the engine that makes the camera rotate. A foil. Why not? Let's see the foil. Let's leave it on my desk. Or maybe not. Let's leave it here. Let's check who's going to have a cell toss. And let's quickly keep checking their cells. Because I haven't done that today. I don't think crowbars and links of rope show up in their cells. That never happens. Dr. Half is having another cell toss today. They are really suspecting about the guy. You must be a dirty one. Not picking those magazines. I hope I'm not going to need them in the future. I kind of see that happening in the future. That always happens, by the way. And I say I might not need something in the future. I always need it. And then I cry over the fact that I don't no longer have it. Tube of talcum powder. Should I really take it? Why not? It's an illegal item. And it's one of those rare items you never find when you need it. Lights out. Let's get up to our cell before they freaking lock the cells. There we go. You know what? I remember that I wanted to make the, the bat of nails, didn't I? Which requires... I want to make a spiked bat. Requires timber, roll of duct tape, and nails. And I already have the nails. I actually think I have nails over here. Yes, I do. But dude, it requires duct tape. I'm gonna lose that weapon so easily. Let's be honest. Why do you want a weapon in this prison layout? You will always be brought down at the first hit they hit you with. So let's not do that. Let's not waste the duct tape on a weapon that will be so useless in the future. So let's put the bad dummy over here. I'm gonna go to the ventilating system 
That is kind of of a routine right now. I'm gonna red get rid of the nails. I'm gonna put them here. I know they will eventually go away with bugs and whatnot. If it doesn't, hey, that's a good surprise. I haven't used the water putty and the molten plastic. I don't want these two items to ruin my plan. You know, if I eventually forget about them over here and I'm not even using them, should I get rid of them? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the staff key or not. I know that Chick Nasty doesn't have it. That's the first guy I cleared up that doesn't have it. So let's bring this foil up to the ventilating system and let's see what else can we do up there. I hope the vent cover doesn't break. That would be awesome. Thank you. It didn't. Let's leave the hole open. You know, I think this is risking a lot. A huge lot. But, um... So far, I didn't get busted with that, so... Here's a sail. Now I need those length of ropes. Those crowbars and all that good stuff. Let's put the foil down here. I have my items so scattered. Should we... Really be careful about that. You know what? I can't make the powered screwdriver now. Probably. And it's a first in my series. There we go. Powered screwdriver. <laughs> it's already working. Let me see. I want to test it out. I want to see how fast it is to bring something down with this. And I'm going to do it on the vent cover. On the metal wood shop job. I hope it doesn't bring it down immediately. I hope it doesn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Okay, it took 40% and it was just used for 5%. Oh my god, it is that good. Let's bring it down once again. And 20%, I guess I'm just going to leave it at this. And I'm going to leave the power screwdriver over here. In case I am really going to need to go down there. So far, to be quite honest, that plan doesn't prove efficient. There's not much I can do over here. Let's go up the roof. I don't think... Nah, it's still 22. Let's wait a little bit more. Let's explore the ventilating system. It's just rats, guys. Keep sleeping. There's only rats down here. You know what? I'm going to explore the left part of the ventilating system. Because that screwdriver will never get destroyed, I'm sure. And it's so strong. Let's just use it. As much as we can. If I can find any prisoner stashes, that would be amazing. Let's explore this part over here. I don't know what's over there, so let's just use it. You know, in those rooms, in those buildings out there, when you use the zip line, there might be something out there that you need the screwdriver for. I'm not sure. Because I don't have the confirmation, let's just use it. Actually, just 5%, man. I can just use the screwdriver everywhere. Okay, this brings us to the exercise period, but there's no prisoner stashes over here. I can't see why I would need to go down to the exercise room. There's nothing over there as well. Let's check it over again. Uh, there are some stairs over here. Where does that lead us to? Let me see. But we cannot get there. We cannot get there. We have the leather up and the leather down. That brings us to the rooftop. But we have no way of coming here other than going through that door, which requires a yellow key. So we're fine. The ventilating system is officially 100% explored, at least in the main building. Now, I might need that screwdriver again over here. You never know. If I go over to that side and go down that building, you know, over here, if I go down here, who knows? I might need the screwdriver over there. I just have no idea. How am I gonna get over here? Can I use the grappling hook over here and go through not only the wall, but the fence as well? It doesn't make any sense to me having the fence here. This even looks like a graphical error. So what I'm gonna do in the next episodes, it's again, trying to have the grappling hook and sheet rope so that I can explore this area over here. Either that. You know, I can go on the ground. I can go on the ground and explore this area around the prison. But I have no way of getting inside the prison. That is a problem. Maybe I can climb up over here with a grappling hook? I never tried that. I wanted to try that on San Pancho. But I never did it. Trying to get up the roof with a grappling hook instead of, you know, using the walls or anything. A hole in the wall to get in. 
So because I don't want to lose this day, let's just go down and have a night night and go for the next day. Again, our main objective is still, oh my god, is still trying to get those lengths of rope and those grappling hooks. So let's have a night night and go for day 13. Let's leave the bad dummy over here. Let's bring the shaving cream with us. Why not? These guys must wonder why do I carry so much toothpaste and shaving cream with me? It's because my beard grows like a Santa Claus beard. And my teeth, I like them white, crystal white. Let's see. Unforgiving Czar. No lengths of rope, no crowbars either. I think so far I never saw a crowbar on anyone. So that might be one of the rarest items in this prison layout so far. I could still try and get the red key, the staff key. But I cannot bring this guy down easily. I guess I really need that contraband pouch to just walk around with the water pudding. Okay, let's get into the breakfast area. Do it like nothing is happening. I have my lungs all full of fresh air. Not because I've been outside. Because I have been just breathing through the ventilating system. Sniffing into the vent cover. That's why I feel so refreshing. This is, must be the second roll of duct tape I'm passing on. This is so dangerous. I feel that rolls of duct tape are that specific item that you never want to miss. Never want to pass on. But I'm saving money for the length of rope and the crowbars. And because they are so expensive, I really, really need to save for that. Dr. F, you and your chicken leg or kitchen leg. If you got that kitchen leg from my company. You're doing dirty stuff, aren't you? Actually, what can you do off dirty? With a chicken leg. Don't ask me. Dudes. Dudes, this this might be it. No, the employment officer. Well, the employment office, that's what I mean. Has a ventilating access, okay? I'm pretty sure the ventilating system goes down here. So you can access the employment office during the night. And there's a staff key locked door over here. Staff key. Locked door. Is that proper English? I don't know. But this door is locked with a red key. So this is a way in once we go outside. If we choose to go down to the ground. Because I have been looking for ways to ship down the wall. So that we could get outside. In and out. Just like in San Pancho. Safely. But apparently we cannot. Every single bit of wall. Is surrounded by the black void. Of the mysterious evil wall. And you cannot go outside like that, or inside. Because I want to explore the ground level of the outer wall, of the the outside, if you know what I mean. But there's no way to come inside if the grappling hook won't allow us to come up to the roof again. Because currently, my way out and my way in are only the roof. And if I cannot get on the roof when I go outside, when I go on the ground, I can absolutely not get inside. So I guess that might be a way. But for that, I need the red key. And I need to find out who has it. Damn, it's so tempting, but so goddamn tempting to just save the game and then take the molten chocolate and just bring down every single guard on the prison and if that guy doesn't have the red key just load back the game and bust some other guard and until we finally find the one it is so tempting seriously because i have one cup of molten chocolate i could do that that would be a little bit cheating but i could do that i know that chick nasty doesn't have it i have here a bar of chocolate i have a lighter but i don't have a cup so i should probably continue doing the cell toss because I'm gonna need a lot of molten chocolates to find out who has the red key. So my priority right now should be finding out. I'm not gonna need any more dental floss, am I? I already have this powered screwdriver. I have I already have the cutters. I'm not gonna re need this. Screw that. I'm gonna take that file though. That I could take. Yes. 
Yes, I could take. Oh my god, you already saw me, so screw you. I'm not gonna bring it down then. Aha! One more molten chocolate. Amazing. Just what I needed. So let's bring this here. Let's bring this over here. Let's bring this over here. And have one more cup of molten chocolate. Okay, this grants me two more guards down. I think there is a pattern in the game on which when you are naming the characters you choose to play with, I think there is a certain one that is always the one who, who carries the, the red key. And Was, was that intended? Is the game still running? Am I here in this world? Did the game crash? Dude, that scared the crap out of me. Are we good? Okay, good. I think we're good. Are we? Is this thing still recording? I hope so. It is! Even though we had the disc scratch there for a couple seconds. Did it? Did it? Did it? Achievement unlocked. I present to you. Well, only now I'm getting the achievements for the escapes. I should have all of them already. So what I'm gonna do is bring another guard down. Let's see, a random one. Akos, let's do it. Let's do it on Akos. No! God dang it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't bring me down. Don't try to bring me down. This is so risky. I don't want them to bust my water putty and my cup of molten chocolate. Please don't bring my guard heat to 90%. Please don't. I'm begging you. Yes, they didn't. They didn't. So the exercise period is one that you can go without going there. Without their guard heat to increase too much. Okay, so let's do a little bit more of the daily cell toss. And choose another guard to bring down. Let's go over here. No, 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 no. Oh my god, that guy stopped just in time. Just in time that it wouldn't notice me. Ah, oh god, that was so close. Okay, not gonna risk anymore. Dude, 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 69. Perfect guard heat, magic number. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Let's bring one guard down. I don't care, let's bring one guard down. The next one that shows up will have his face all melted. Oh my god, 99 guard heat. No. Not gonna lose all of this. I am such a pussy. Let's check, we're gonna have a cell toss, and then I'm gonna bring another guard down. Let's see, Kaji for life. I'm pretty sure it's it is you, man. You don't you don't fool me. I'm pretty sure it's you. Okay, let's see. -da 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 -da. It's me. Good job, Kaji for life. You completely destroyed my plan now. You completely destroyed it because now I have to carry all this crap, and I don't think I have room for all of it. Maybe I do. I have just enough. That is so lucky. Okay, why do I have a battery on me? I already have the power screwdriver. I don't need another one, do I? So, I can still bring one guard down with this. You know, Akos, it's gonna be you, it's gonna be you! Oh! Oh! That is so lucky! What? And I, and I have a job for this guy. Oh my god! I should have thought of, about this much early. I should have bring a guard down that I had a favor for. Why didn't I do this? Before, and he has the staff key. He has the staff key. Oh my God, that was so lucky. Okay, I officially nominate this as the most lucky, the luckiest moment in my escape series. I must say it. I had no idea Ecos had the key, and I had no idea he had a favor. Though that was so lucky. I'm gonna take even your guard outfit because I might need that. Let's try to make this possible. There we go. They're gonna search my cell, right? Yes, they do. Let's not ruin the moment. But you know what, man? The guy will come straight for me and kick my nuts. How am I gonna keep this illegal stuff safe? I know. Going to the vent system really quickly. But if the vent cover breaks, I'm screwed. Who's that? Shake nasty! I've kicked your butt before. I am surprised that you're not kicking my butt right now. He should actually be allowed to do that because I've brought him down with uh, molten chocolate. Is it pinning about me? Shouldn't be that good. Am I being the luckiest player ever? I probably am. So what I'm gonna do is bring the molten chocolate over here again. 
and I'm gonna bring all this stuff up to the ventilating system. And guess what? The vent cover will break. It didn't! Oh my god, I'm so lucky. So I'm gonna bring the timber over here, the file over here, the plastic staff key over here, and this is amazing. Now I can probably go out on the ground level and come in safely again through the employment office. I just need to find more vent covers. I need to make more paper machés so that I can make more covers. I need at least two more. One over here and one for the metal shop job. So I need to find those paper machés and that should be one of my priorities in the next episode. What I'm going to do right now is pick up the powered screwdriver and make my way to the employment office. I hope they don't see my hole into my cell. Man, I'm, I'm, this is in the back of my head. There's a devil voice in the back of my head. They're gonna find your vent cover down. They're gonna find your vent cover down. They're gonna find your vent cover down. <laughs> They're gonna find that vent cover down. That's how I feel. There's a voice in the back of my head. Let's bring this vent cover down until the max point we can. Let's not destroy it, obviously. Okay, one more hit and it will be brought down. So let's leave it at that. I need to find more paper machines. I need to craft them. You know what? I would give this guard outfit to someone to increase their opinion about me. But I have not been focusing on bringing anyone's opinion about me up. So I'm just going to leave it here as a replacement. And this episode was not that bad. So, what I'm gonna do in the next one, most probably, is getting on the ground level of the prison, explore it the much I can, so that we can determine a plan. Because right now, I honestly don't know where I need to be. I know how to get out, but then what? You, you need to use the makeshift raft at somewhere, at the water. But where is that? Where is a safe spot to do that? Please don't spoil it in the comment section. I would appreciate that. I want to find out by myself. So the next episode will be the struggle for the length of rope once again. But at the same time, we can already go down out there. And that will be amazing. For now, let's leave it at that and have a nice night out. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this. My name is Asparagus Jenny and I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye everyone. Thank you for watching everyone, if you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, and remember, stay above the waters.